Greetings family and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, I'm Advocate Bule Matsilo. The purpose of this channel is to teach South African law and to teach and or preach the word of God. Today I'll be preaching. And before I continue, I want to welcome all my new subscribers, even those that are returning. Thank you for supporting this journey. Please share and also comment. Make suggestions in, this, in the comment section as to what is it that you want me to teach on. And that is regarding South African law. But otherwise, I want to thank you. And also, don't forget to press the post notification bell so that when we upload, you get notified. As I've already mentioned, I'll be preaching on the power of testimony. We are going to look at why it is important that you and I, as children of God, as believers, should testify the reasons for testifying, the benefits for testifying, why we should testify. When you look at Revelations, which will be the main scripture for today. Revelations chapter 12, verse 11. It reads as follows. And they overcame him by the lamb, by the blood of the lamb, and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to the death. They overcame him. Let me start by mentioning that when you testify, which is almost like a, a ritual in the Christian church, we like to give testimonies. God has done this, God has done that. The idea is not to break. People may look at you and they may be thinking that, ah, she's bragging or he's bragging. No. The idea is not to break. The idea is to proclaim the goodness of God. When you look at this verse 11 of Revelation chapter 12, it says they overcame him. Who overcame? The whole chapter when you, you read at it. Somewhere in other verses, it mentioned that there was a war in heaven. There was a war between Michael and his angels. And this raging war was also between the dragon and his angels. Who is the dragon? The Bible says it's the devil himself, it's Satan himself, the accuser of the brethren. The Bible says he is our accuser. And because there was a raging war, how did they defeat him? They defeated him by the blood of the lamb and by the weight of their testimony. This is an indication that when we testify, when we tell of the goodness of God, we overcome. When God has done something good, you tell the whole world, you tell the people around you, your conversation is repl replaced by testimony. It's one testimony after another, speaking of the goodness of God, speaking of the power of God. When you do that, you are creating a space for God to do more in your life. You are also using testimony as a weapon of your warfare. Because when you testify of the goodness of God, when you testify of the power of God, when you testify of the grace of God, you will not be defeated in that area. If you say God is a healer, he has healed me, the devil knows that he cannot mess around with you in that area. 
or any other area for that matter. When you testify, you are giving God credit. Or to put it in a, in a, in a spiritual way, you are giving God the glory which is due unto me. Because unto God, I mean to say. Because it is not by power, it is not by might, it is by the spirit. You are saying when you look at me today, you look at me as a successful person in one area or another, it was not out of my own doing. It is all God's doing. And when you do that, there will be an increase. There will be more. Because God knows that when he blesses you, when he empowers you, you will not share glory with him. You will give back the glory to God. Because God says, he's a jealous God. He's a God who does not want to share glory with any other man. So when he has empowered you to do something, when he has graced you with something, you cannot just say, yeah, I worked hard. Yes, you may have worked hard. For you to acquire whatever you have acquired, if it is wealth, for example, the Bible says it is God who gives us the strength to make wealth. So in other words, yes, you worked hard, but it is God who gave you the strength to acquire it. It is God who connected you to your divine connectors. It is God who has given you the grace. It is God who has given you the enablement. So what this means is that when people begin to compliment you, yes, gracefully accept the compliment. Because I'm also not talking about a situation of what my mentor used to call false humility. No, I'm not saying you should say, oh, me. No, just gracefully say thank you. But on the same breath, give God all the glory. Tell that person, tell those people that everything is all God's doing. And it's not about false humility again. It's because you mean it. I mean it. For we know for a fact that if it was not for God, we wouldn't be where we are. And that is why from time to time we can say, Evan Ezra, for the Lord has been with us. You know, for me, that is why I like testimonies. Except for these factors that I'm mentioning. I like testimony because testimony, it's your personal story. And I find it very encouraging. Because if you give a testimony of the goodness of God, and you say it is God who did it, nobody can argue with you. Because that one, it's your personal story. It reminds me of a man who says, I don't know too much, but what I know is that I was blind and now I can see. Who can argue with that? If somebody wants to come with theological reasonings, we are not interested in that. There is nothing wrong with theology, of course, but we are not interested in debates. We are interested in talking about the power of God and what we know for sure that God has done for us. I was sick and now I'm healed. How can anybody argue with me for that? So when they put focus on you, you take that focus and you put it on God. Because God says he will draw men to him if we put focus on him. You know, as human beings, there is a temptation. The temptation is that I should be able to say, as Pulain, it's me, myself, I, and want to claim or position myself 
as the one who has done it and done it in my own strength. But all what I want to say is, when you look at me, you see the grace of God. I am a product of his grace. I have seen his faithfulness. I have seen his love. You know, I like somebody who says what I can render to Jehovah, for he has been very good to me. In my life, God has been good. He has been good to me. He has been faithful. He has demonstrated his love. He has uh, enabled me to achieve everything that I have achieved in my life. I am where I am. I am who I am because of the grace of God, because of the anointing of God, because of the grace of God, because of the enabling power of God, because of the blessings of God. That is why I can say today, God is good and he is good all the time. I want to thank you. If you want to live a victorious life, if you want to overcome like they overcame, they overcame the devil. If they can overcame, overcome the devil, what more of the enemies around you? What more of his cause? Because in this situation, it was the dragon and his angels, Satan and the devil himself, who was fought by Michael and his angels. And they overcame. You are an overcomer. You are more than a conqueror. Because the battle is won for you already by Jesus Christ himself. When he died on Calvary. You know, somebody de demonstrated this issue by saying, you know, it's like maybe you are married to a boxer. When he goes and fights, and he fights and he wins this battle, and he comes with a trophy and he gives it to you. The trophy belongs to you, but you did not have to fight. That's how good God is. Let's continue to win. Let's continue to use this testimony, the word of our testimony, as our weapon of, of warfare. Because the Bible says, the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of satanic strongholds. Testifying should be on our lips. Talking about the goodness of God should be on our lips, should uh, uh, be the conversation that will dem uh, uh, dominate any other conversation so that we should be able to live victorious lives. I want to thank you for listening to this message. May the Lord bless you. May he make his face to shine on you. In Jesus' name, thank you.